So it is time to finally put the money where the mouth is. How good is T elements post power of the elements? This is a strategy that has thought up to be one of the most catastrophic decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is where we find out. going on with y'all big dog and it is an amazing day for Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope that your day is going phenomenal but if it isn't don't let what happened at the beginning of your day ruin the rest of your day. Speaking of days they are numbered until the new power of the elements that comes out that's going to be introducing the sprite strategy. <laughs> We talked about that strategy last week. It is insane. But today we're going to be talking about the tier element strategy and squashing all of the rumors about if this strategy is good enough to compete or not. In this video, we are going to be testing our tier element strategy. And if you want to see more testing videos, go ahead and show this video some love. Hit that like button, share with a friend, but be sure to subscribe for more amazing content. In this particular version of tier element, we are going to be going pure. The branded engine doesn't give us enough room for hand traps. This actually gives us enough room for disruptive cards. There's gonna be two copies of Ash Blossom, two DD Crow, three Infinite Impermanence, and three Dark Ruler no more. We are prepared for the next format. We are also going to be maxing out on every tier element monster from Power of the Elements and playing two copies of Mare of the Shore. This will ensure that our combos are pretty consistent. Of course, who doesn't love Squamata here? Two copies of that, would a beast. This allows us to be able to make our El Shadal Winda consistently and our extra deck, I mean, it feels pretty standard. Guardian Chimera, Kaleido Heart, Double Dragostapelia, Lubellion. I probably could cut this card. Two Kit Kalos, The Winda, Kaliga, Millenniumizer Strict, Time Thief Redoer, Abyss Dweller for the Mirror, Axis Code Talker, Dark, and Cross Sheep because that's something Despia just can't do. But now that you have seen our preliminary profile for tier element, let's go ahead and jump into a game. Okay, so here we are going to be playtesting this deck against Hoodley. We're going to see exactly how this goes as we get to go second. Okay, all right, all right. We got Havniz, Rhino Heart, sure. This ain't going to wind up well, is it? He is playing... Sword Soul. Okay, this deck just won the North American Championship. So let's see what young Hoodley has to do. He's going to use Dragon Cycle. Oh, <laughs> if there was ever an Ass Blossom target, we do that, right? Like, come on. Like, just pass your turn at this point. No. Oh! <laughs> does he have hand traps? It does almost not matter. I want to go ahead and use Instant Fusion, be able to summon Millenniumize Restrict. I definitely think that that's going to be the move right here. Got our Millenniumize Restrict, that'll protect us from Ash Blossom, DD Crow, Ghost Bell, all of those hand traps. I'm not trying to lose to any of those. And then I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Mare Mare to my side of the field, or Mare of the Shore, using its effect to be able to send a tier element from the deck to the graveyard. Never punished, guys. He's going to use Ash Blossom. Well, Millenniumize Restrict that Ash Blossom. Give me that, boy. And then we will use it to be able to send a Miru from the deck to the graveyard using the effect of Miru to be able to... Well, didn't see that one coming. Oh, I am so on him now. Let's go ahead and start off by activating Shaman here. I am going to use the Rhino Heart here. I think that's the correct move. I hope that that's the correct move. And then we'll activate Rhino Heart as Chain Link 1. We'll then use Should All Beast as Chain Link 2 here. Let's see if he has a response. Nothing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. King of the Swamp. Oh, man. This is going to be, this is going to be nasty. We'll use Havanis to Fuse. He's already used Ash Blossom, so Chainlink 2 will use Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart will send Shaylin. Of course we send Shaylin here, right? We've used all the other ones. Sword Soul up with this deck. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he had a Gorse or something. We just collabed Sword Soul up. Now, not the best hand, so I'm going to give him a little bit of a chance of redemption. 
and potentially get smacked a little less. This time around, he is going to get his little rematch. He is going first this time. Will we 2-0 clap a Sword Soul deck? Yo, okay, he's gonna go ahead and go Moye revealing the Long Yuan. Okay, that's that's not bad. Go ahead, go ahead, my friend. I have a hundred percent like a big brain feeling right here that he does not, and I mean does not have the Long Yuan. So this is way more tolerable to deal with than anything he could ever make. I mean, I do have the Dark Ruler no more, so. I could have just held on to the Imperm and just Impermed whatever he, or Dark Ruler or whatever board he made. But I don't know, I'm feeling real reckless right now. Pot of Des- What is up with this man in Pot of Desires? He then activates his- Oh no. <laughs> Did I just waste an Imperm? He'll use Logiwan discarding the Vashuda, and then he'll get a token to his side of the field. It's not going to be good at all. It's not what I wanted to deal with. And now we have to deal with a potential Sword Soul Blackout. <laughs> and two really, really powerful monsters on the side of the field. We draw the instant fusion. Never punished here. Dark Ruler no more. We're going to negate the monsters on his side of the field right here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The old but gold trick, guys. We will go ahead and make our Millennium Eyes restrict. And then we'll normal summon our Mayor of the Shore. We'll use this effect to be able to send from the deck to the graveyard. He's going to let that go through. Looks like he is learning. We'll send Miru to the graveyard using its effect to be able to fuse this time. Using the Mare of the Shore and our Miru in graveyard. And now we'll use the effect of our Kit Kalos to be able to add from deck to the hand. I don't see how I beat this board. Like, we're going to need, we're going to need firepower on firepower and I know I have to get rid of the Xingying like at all cost right now. I can go Shaylin's effect here. I will summon Shaylin to my side of the field, discarding the Reino Heart, milling three, and then we'll activate the effect. Oh, wow, cool. All right, um, we'll just use the Havanus here. Make the tier elements Kaleido Heart here. I think we're gonna have to lose our monster, which I mean, I guess I gotta be okay with. We'll use our Kaleido Heart to be able to send Xingying to the graveyard if he has the blackout, we cry. If he does it, then never punished, right, guys? Like, it's just what we do. <laughs> oh, to make myself feel better, that was the card I was going to target anyway. So, like, we're going to go ahead and use the Kit Kalos here. We will send five off the top. And then we can use the effect of Salak to be able to search from our decks to our hand. Really unfortunate that I uh, wasted an infinite impermanence here and I have a strong feeling that that may be their demise as I could just set the imperm and then negate and then keep playing. But now it's up to him to be able to see if he even has a comeback because we didn't broke the man's board. What you got for us? What you got? I didn't mean summon an actual card here. I meant I meant it in the other way. Let's go ahead and use having this effect, right? That's going to summon itself to the side of the field in mill three. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh, wait. Yo, whoa, hold on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. huge money. We'll use the effect of Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart will get rid of the token. Rhino Heart will get rid of our happiness, and then we can... No, 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 no. How do you keep doing this? So I'll still be able to fusion summon. I need a way to be able to beat this sword so long you won. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and make the Drago Stapelia using the Millennium Eyes Restrict in my graveyard. So here is going to be the big brain play, guys. Does he play Yazi Evil of the Yangzing? That's like, that's the only way he's outing this year. Because if he summons the long you won, we're turning the token into... No, 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 oh, no, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm like 10,000% sure he's playing the YCS champions build. He still has to play this correctly, right? Because even if he does break my monsters on the board, if he leaves me with the wrong one mon that's a pretty good right one monster, right? Like, I probably should have used Drago Stapelia to reduce his monster's attack, all right? So, 
my fault. Uh, he's going to go ahead and attack into the Draco Stapelia, then use Berserker. Berserker will allow him to attack again. And then um, now we have the same number of monsters on the field. So, yes, the Mystic Mind leaves, boys. Let's go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We can win here. We can win here. This card says when your opponent activates a monster effect, I can banish that monster. Okay, so look, we have to we have to bait him. He he has to stop this, right? He has to stop this. Okay? So he, he has no choice but to stop this if we do this. Okay? We make Dark the Dark Charmer, right? Right? He has no choice but to stop Dark the Dark Charmer if we use its effect, right? Then we normal summon our mayor of the shore. And we c -c 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 combo off. We'll activate our Dark to Dark Charmer. Target is Vishuda. We weren't winning this game. His deck is invincible. Yeah, well, we'll he, we're not winning this game. So we're going to go first this time around. And hopefully we draw a hand. I'm literally going to close my eyes. Oh my God, did I draw a great hand? Did I draw a good hand? Did I draw a good hand? Oh, uh, you know? that is a workable head no it's the fusion this time around so uh yeah we, we, we'll try to play i'll go ahead and activate my field spell i think i have to get shaylin because i did open polymerization in my hand right we then normal summon mare of the shore and then activate its effect we can send a king of the swamp ain't that something if we send king of the swamp to the graveyard hold on i got a big brain this we will send king of the swamp to the graveyard then activate polymerization come on why play smart when I don't have to play, or why play hard when I don't have to play hard? Our chain link one as Shaylin, dodging Ghost Bell, and then our chain link two is Kit Kalos. Kalos will allow us to add that meta noise. We summon Invoked Kaliga. I think that might be the move because Invoked Kaliga he can only activate one effect, so he needs like God tier combo here, right? Like I thought about, like, I want to make Winda obviously, but there's no Aqua. I don't think there's an aqua window back to you well, let's see what you got big hood if you can beat this board i genuinely do not think of a way he beats this board i think i think we win off a of clout right right that's how we do it because we can literally flip this monster face down whatever he summons and then we can fuse no i'm not even scared of mystic mind my field spell card allows me to destroy mystic mind so maybe i shouldn't have been you son of a Yo, he needs to summon a monster at least for me to flip face down and do things. Like, wh why? Why are you doing this to me? I hate this mine. <laughs> he droplets me. Yo, this man's on gas. Okay, then he tributes to summon. That's all cute. That's cute. That's cute. He'll then summon the Moye. We have an even number of monsters on the field. He reveals the Taie. He's already normal summon. So we're good here. Okay, cool. Now we go meta noise. We flip the Moye face down. We then send a Miru to the graveyard. And now we can activate Miru. We'll make Draco Stapelia here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and destroy the Mystic Mine and put him on, yo, you better have something else um, this point in time, right? But now he has a face down monster. We have a disrupt. We outed his Mystic Mine. I think we're in all state right now, right? Oh, he's ending his turn. Oh, yes. Yes, that's exactly what we need. So we'll draw the... Oh, 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 yes. We activate Miru's effect. We hope to God to hit a tier element. We hit Miru. Okay, well, I mean, that, that's okay. We'll fuse by using our graveyard. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll activate... Uh, We can activate multiple effects here. A target one card on... Oh, my God, this card is busted. What are we doing here? We'll get rid of this. And so now we can add from our decks to our hand. We will add the Havnus here, add to our hand. I kind of wish I didn't like mill off Miru because I, I could have some crazy combos here, but we'll just go King of the Swamp. Swamp will get us our second polymerization. I'll activate DD Crow. We'll get we'll get rid of that. Like, I mean, come on now. We, we can't allow you to, to run around with that card in the graveyard. I'll go ahead and poly here. We will poly into our second kick Kalos act of our Havness. And he surrenders because he knows we're summoning the big, bad, huge monster to our side of the field. So the Tiawaman strategy is actually ridiculously good. This is a tier one deck coming into the format. 
My only causes for concern with the tier element strategy is when you're going in decks like Eltlich and Fluander Reese, decks that don't need the special summon, cards like El Shadal Winda aren't necessarily as powerful. Also, I do still question this deck's ability to go second. Yes, I am playing 10 going second cards, but against the correct board, I think this deck will struggle. Overall, Kaladadon does have a gun to my head, so I'm gonna have to give this strategy five out of five Skamadas here. I think that this deck will definitely make some waves immediately before the Ashizu support. And that is all that we have for the testing of tier elements. Again, if you want to see more testing videos, I actually have one right here. And you can also let me know down below in the comment section what we should test next. Also, be sure to check out this other video, show it some love, and go ahead and check out Master Duel Cali if you want to see Master Duel content, as I'll catch you on the next one.